And that brings us up to number five, baseline best practice number five, limit the number of SSIDs per radio. SSIDs were something that were offered to us, uh, well, let me back up. Originally with Wi-Fi, each access point radio had one SSID. And that SSID and radio also had a MAC address to go with it. But years into Wi-Fi, um, at the point where we started using VLANs, virtual LANs on the wired side, uh, at some point it was indicated that we needed a way to extend VLANs into the wireless interface. We don't have specific wireless VLANs. The way that we compromise is to assign an SSID to a specific uh, virtual LAN. And that would presuppose that you have different security parameters to go with each one of those VLANs. So you're not forced to use multiple SSIDs. And ideally, one SSID is plenty. The issue is this. For every SSID that you create on a single radio, the access point, by default, has to contend for the medium with all of those other users 10 times per second just to send out an advertisement saying, hey, I'm an access point with a radio that is offering the teacher SSID. And then 10 times per second, he also has to say, and student two SSID. And I also have student SSID. And I also have a hidden network SSID. Every one of those SSIDs you create has to be advertised 10 times per second. In the case of our school where they have six SSIDs per radio, 60 times per second, we're just sending out advertisements, which does nothing to improve the actual end user experience. So what do we do about it? Number one, make sure that you really need all those SSIDs. Just turn, don't turn them on because you can. How do we find out it, what they are and how many we have? So using Wi-Fi Explorer again, let's pay attention over here to the first column, which is network name, which is really the SSID column. And again, as we saw earlier, this particular school has six SSIDs, one called Hidden Network, another called Guest, one called Mobile, one called Student, one called Student 2, and another called Teacher. Okay? I said originally that an access point radio had an SSID and it had a MAC address. Well, the MAC address is known as the, the BSSID, Basic Service Set Identifier. And the SSID really is shorthand slang for ESSID, Extended Service Set Identifier. So these two identifiers indicate a separate cell, ESSID, more commonly called SSID, and BSSID, which is basically the physical MAC address of that radio, of that SSID. And then we have a device name, and the device name is assigned to the access point. So we see, and this is just one radio now. Uh, this is either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Let's find out. We are on 5 gigahertz because it's channel 40. And for this one, another fill. And the reason why is six SSIDs per radio, when they're not needed, is probably not a good thing. We say from this location, we see six SSIDs on each channel. 2.4 gigahertz SSIDs are being transmitted at the basic rate of one megabit per second. We're gonna talk about the basic rates coming up here in just a few minutes, and you'll see how important it is to, to go in and clip those basic rates and make sure that you're using the proper rates. Because if you just use the defaults, performance, especially on 2.4 gigahertz network, is going to be very, very severely degraded because of that. Now, if you're wondering how many SSIDs you can safely use, it varies. And it depends greatly on what the rates are that you've selected too, whether you're on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and the, the basic rates you've assigned. Uh, if you've done nothing, then the performance, the, the number of SSIDs is gonna be very low. I'd suggest you go out to Revolution Wi-Fi and look at their SSID calculator which will allow you to look at a different band, tell it how many SSIDs, how many, um, um, what rates you have in use, and it will give you an idea in percentage. And the percentage 
Uh, in this case, because of the way we're configured with six SSIDs at one megabit per second, the beacons will account for 19.35% of channel utilization. That's too much. 10% would be about as high as you'd want to see for just beacon traffic out there. And lower is better. So in this case, reconfigure the SSIDs to reduce traffic to below 10%. Now you see why in that first baseline best practice, I split up some of the SSIDs, I moved them over to a different radio. And what we ended up by just doing a very simple comparison, by putting SSIDs only on the band they needed to be, we ended up, instead of having 12 SSIDs, six on each radio, we ended up with having six SSIDs, but only three on 2.4, and three on five gigahertz, and that brought our, our traffic utilization down to below 10%. So it was an easy fix. Anybody can do that.